Kelsey. Um, so I am a stay-at-home mom and a nurse. I do both and uh, I have a really big passion for decor. So I thought, you know, I've been buying a lot of fall stuff recently with the season coming up and I thought I would share it with you guys. So I have quite the fall haul <clears throat> um, from a few places, Hobby Lobby, at home, TJ Maxx slash like home goods, and a little bit of Target, one Kirkland's things, and then I just recently bought some of the Bath and Body Works soaps because they were on sale the other day. So I thought I would just dive in and start showing you guys what I got. Um, so I'll start with Hobby Lobby because that's probably where I have the most stuff. Um, so I first, we'll start with this. This is a little sign. It's almost like an ornament. It says, Hello Fall. I know they've had these for a couple of years. It was $3.99 and then of course all the Hobby Lobby stuff has been 40% off since late July, mid-July. Um, so I got this kind of with the thoughts of either putting it on a tear tray or I have some shelves over here. Or I'll kind of have to play around with it when I when I get there. Um, I also bought this tiny little pillow. I thought this was so adorable. Couldn't pass it up. Also $3.99, 40% off. It says sweater weather on it. It's black and white buffalo check. Thought this would also be cute on a tear tray or next to a little lantern or something like that. I kind of buy things not necessarily knowing where they're going to go, but I figured it out. It always works. So, um, the next thing I bought was this fabric pumpkin. It's orange and white with the kind of plasticky um, wood part, what is supposed to be the wood part there. And $7.99, and then it was on sale. I like the fabric a lot. The fabric pumpkins are, I feel like, becoming more trendy. Um, I like the texture. It's very cozy, and it's also just not as like most other plastic pumpkins are just shiny, which just creates a different effect for me. And I also bought this little sign. I love the little signs, but you kind of have to watch yourself because too many signs is just too many words. And then you have all these things that you really can't put next to each other. So this just says morning pumpkin. I kind of thought this would go by my Keurig and um, my other little mugs I have in my kitchen. And this was $3.99. Um, next is this very basic mug. This um, I actually got from the spring shop. So this must have been clearance, I want to say. Yeah, it must have been if it's from the spring shop. Um, also, $3.99 is the theme. Just white. It's a cute mug. It has a black rim. So that it was just kind of a staple. I was really thinking I could use this for every season. Um, I also was thinking I have a Cricut and sometimes I make stuff. So I thought maybe I could, if I wanted to, put a little something on there even with like removable vinyl and then you can change it out or you know mix it up um we'll get this out of the way because this is big so this is kind of something I've been eyeing for a long time <laughs> sorry my husband is actually asleep even my son so it says farm fresh pumpkins hand-picked farm fresh pumpkins 50 cents and I thought this was so cute and I know they had it last year I'm not sure about years past I'm sure it's kind of a basic it seems like and um this was definitely an investment is what I would say. It's more than I would typically spend on decor, but I've looked at it last, I remember looking at it last year and I was like, you know, maybe next year. And then this year I was like, all right, there's a few things I've seen the past few years that I know I wanna get. So I'm just gonna do it because yellow. So this was $34.99 and of course 40% off. I was thinking, um, I have some pumpkins like I've that I've already bought in my, you know, big collection. and. I think I'd fill it up with like put a blanket in the bottom or something and fill it up and then the non-breakable ones and my son would probably really love to play with all the pumpkins in here is what my thought was behind that. Okay. Gotta keep this organized or else it'll be a hot mess. Okay. And next I bought this bag of pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. They're all this like Robert Stanley signature collection. Um, which must be what I like. So $9.99, so they would be in like six bucks. Um, I just loved this green. I feel like this green is gonna be more in this year. Um, but I have thoughts like a doble or even this lantern behind me, taking that candle out and putting some of those in there. I thought that would be cute. And then these are so adorable. So these tiny little rolling pins, I'm not sure if this will be backwards or not, 
So this one says pumpkin pie. I think they had a green one that said something else. The little ribbon, and I'm not actually a huge fan of the little ribbon, but it doesn't bother me. But you could probably take it off. It looks like it's just glued on there and then touch up the paint if you needed to. Um, but $3.99 um, on sale, and I just thought this would be so cute to stick somewhere. I have a small tear tray I got from the Target Dollar Spot, one of those wire white ones. Last year, like around Christmas time, I want to say, but I thought that would be cute sitting in there with some other pumpkins and some other more festive things. Let's see, okay. Um, so I picked up this little truck. It lights up. Okay, I was gonna say, is that gonna be very cute? The little windows. This was $4.99 and then on sale. Um, I just thought this was pretty, pretty like neutral, not like crazy over the top orange, which is nice because I love the traditional orange, but it can be a little overwhelming once you get too much of it. Okay, the other little thing, so start each day with a grateful heart. It's like this leather type material inside this little black frame. It's on a hook, like an ornament. Originally $3.99. They had a couple different sayings. This one I just thought was maybe like hit home a little bit more, something you don't hear a lot that maybe we should live more by. I don't know. I'm sure they had one that said happy fall, y'all. That's always that's the big fall um saying it seems like pumpkin. I have pumpkins and I just this one I was like oh, can't leave without it. $6.99. Um, this one, the top isn't as plasticky, but you see how this even, just all the plastic can be a little shiny. That's why I like the fabric ones too. But I thought it was a good deal for the size of the pumpkin. I mean, it covers my face, I guess, if I hold it up. And the speckle, I thought was pretty. Okay, these I think are going to be very popular, which I know I've already seen tons of fall shop with these and fall hauls from the big YouTubers and they've all talked about this like the brown amber so I saw these I went to Hobby Lobby like the Monday after this like the following Monday the sale started or Tuesday or something and I saw them I'm like oh my gosh these are gonna be sold out I have to get one now if I'm gonna get one so this I think is the medium I think this is the medium size I had a small medium and large and I this the medium was $12.99 so give or take a few dollars for the smaller and large sizes but I got some I don't have any yet I'm gonna look pompous grass is very in I thought pompous grass and then like a touch of orange if I could find it I have some full floral I just need to go through it and see what I find that I like but those will definitely be very very popular this year okay this is one that also I thought was a little bit of an investment, but it's been around for a few years. I'm like, okay, if you want it, just get it. It's an investment, but you'll use it forever. The pumpkin with the pumpkin pie recipe. This is so inventive. This is so cute. It's practical, which I'm all about. I love the practical decor that I can use. It's a pretty good size. It's heavy. It's ceramic, I'm guessing. Um, $34.99 and then the sale. But it has a pumpkin pie recipe on there, which I love. And you know, I thought about buying a pumpkin and like making my own with the Crooked, but sometimes with projects like that, you just have to really like evaluate how much is my time worth. And it's like, I probably wouldn't be able to really buy the, or make this and make it look as nice. It'd be just plain words and not like the little characters, like of the spoon and stuff. So I probably would have had to have bought the, label off of Etsy and at that point I'm paying as much for just buying this so okay four things <laughs> so these very popular um this is like an underlay mat that you put underneath your outdoor mat um it's oversized it's meant to be oversized so you can see it underneath your mat $17.99. It's kind of that buffalo check plaid. Yeah, I guess I would call it that. Um, funny story, I bought this last year and I, with the intentions of getting a new mat for outside, a new mat to go on top of it, and I just ended up not finding one I loved, so I ended up returning it and the lady at Hobby Lobby was like, why are you returning this? Someone's gonna come pay, like, be here in two seconds to buy this if they knew it was here. Well, I just, because the mat I had at the time was also, like, 
it was like kind of like a bluish gray buffalo check and it just and it had our initial on it on the pumpkin on the bottom left corner I think I had them at home or Hobby Lobby I want to say and it just didn't work and I just didn't want to hold on to it but I guess I could have but I mean they had them again this year so it's not that big of a deal <clears throat> so another mat this is a kitchen mat it's kind of like memory foam it's pretty cushiony I was pretty impressed with like the quality of it I guess for it being from Hobby Lobby oops um so $20 ended up being $12. Um, I just thought this would be a fun way. And I was thinking I could use this for the holiday season too, not just fall, which is nice. I'm excited because the amount I'm making to now is dressed. <laughs> okay. okay, two more things. My little scarecrow. How cute is he? So I don't have a huge front porch, but I have enough to, I mean, put some stuff out and he's kind of skinny, so I thought he would work. <clears throat> oh, she, I don't judge, you can be whoever you want, but it says fall on it in orange and it has these little, almost, they almost look like door hinge, like an old door hinge. But I thought the little bow tie was just adorable and I couldn't leave him there. So he was $29.99 and then 40% off. But I, I think I'll stick him on my front porch. I recently put a rocking chair in front of my front door, so I think we'll have a fun time. I'm hoping I would like to do some, when I decorate, try to record it. We'll see how this goes first <laughs> and then post it for you guys who happen to stumble upon this to see what my fall haul was. This last thing, which I actually already took the tag off because I, long story short, stuck it in my kitchen to see if it would even fit, and it did, and then I was just like, oh, I'll cut the tag off, not thinking about it. It's this tiny little ladder. It's black. They had it in white, and I think like a wood color, and I want to say it was like 7 to $10, and then 40% off of that, I can't remember. I want to say it was eight ninety nine. but my thought was to, it fits perfectly under a cabinet on the countertop. So I thought I've seen um, um, other people hang dish towels on here, like decorative dish towels, which will be nice because I know my husband won't touch them if I put them on here and put them up against the counter or I can tell him not to. So that's my thought is to hang a dish towel from here and maybe um, stagger like a cutting board behind it. That seems to be pretty popular nowadays and I have like a glassy background so I think it'll look good. But very practical and cute because I could put a practical dish towel there if I wanted to. Okay, so that's everything from Hobby Lobby. Um, that was probably my biggest successful fall trip. <laughs> um, so I actually just picked this up like yesterday, Saturday. Today is Monday. Um, so my Target hasn't put out the, you know, the little pumpkins they always do and all that stuff. They had just sat these out. This is all I saw over there. This is Gobble Till You Wobble. This, I think, is a... Oh, you know, it doesn't say the scent, but it's like a pretty strong pumpkin scent. Pumpkin cinnamon. Um, not quite something like you would get at Bath & Body Works. It's definitely stronger, but I have... Um, I've bought their little candle... I've gotten little candles from the Target Dollar Splat around Christmas time, mostly because I thought they were more... Uh, festive looking like the red and green little candles that they have but they actually burn really well and they smell really good so that was kind of just the bonus so I'll be excited to I guess that's more Thanksgiving gobble to your wobble <laughs> but why not put it out for fall it's orange who's really gonna read it um so the only other thing from Target which I'm not sure if this is really even a fall but I thought it was more of a fall wood toned so this oh the candle was three dollars um, so this was five dollars. This is like almost a mini tray. You can almost call it a mini doble. So this was one of the things I was thinking about putting pumpkins in. So this could like sit on a coffee table or sit on an end table or even like a shelf or my dining table is really big so I wouldn't put it on there because it would just look silly. But lots of options. You could even, I mean you could put it up against a, like against the backsplash or something. If you didn't have a lot of counter space. Um, but those are the only two things from Target because, well, my, I know it was some Targets, but my Target hasn't even gotten, like, their Halloween stuff out yet. They're kind of just now finishing back to school because my, in my area, 
and back to school. I just went back today. So I'm sure by the end of this week, it'll all be cleared out. And already getting going. Okay, so I have a good handful of things from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I'll have to just tell you because I'm not sure. I'll look at the tags. So my first thing, this is Hall more Halloween, obviously. So it says, it's a Ray Dunn Boo. I thought he was just too cute. He is ceramic, so definitely not kid friendly for a low shelf. $14.99, I think. See, this one doesn't say, but some of them say Home Goods. So I think this was TJ Maxx. I have been to not several, but like two or three different TJ Maxx's Home Goods, and I just can't find Ray Dunn stuff. Like I hit Lucky at one store, and that's where I have four mugs in front of me, and that's where um, I the only Ray Dunn stuff I've found, or even fall stuff, which I know it's still early. It's what we're almost getting to the end of August, so but. I don't remember if I said this, $14.99, which is average for a Ray Dunn, but I just thought he was too cute, and I don't have a ton of Halloween stuff, so I thought that would be a fun add addition to my collection. Let's just stick with the Ray Dunn stuff since we're on that roll. So I've kind of gotten into the trend of collecting Ray Dunn. I don't have a ton. I have like four mugs, five mugs. This is my fifth mug. I just got this and like washed it out mom fuel but it's just water <laughs> um so most of these are well, i guess like two or halloween one is fall so this is says trick and it says treat on the other side i thought that was so cute all these mugs are 5.99 which is like the standard for ray dunn and it's got the orange inside which i really loved i have a small ray dunn coffee rack i'll show you guys probably eventually if i do end up following up after this and doing a um, like a tour or decor, um, decorate with me or something fun. And then I got, we'll do this one. This one also has the orange inside and this one, this one says pumpkin patch, which I just love all the vibes from this. This is my, this is my vibe right here. Pumpkin patch, orange inside, mug. <laughs> and then witch's brew. I thought this was so pretty. It's got the black inside, which I think is so unique. So cute. I've become more into decorating, I think, for Halloween. I've never really been into it, but I also like, I don't know. I guess I've only had like a, I'm, what am I trying to say? I've become more into decorating for Halloween. I mean, I have a, he, my son just turned one, so it's not like I, it's been a huge part, you know, a huge deal really when you're not a kid, so. <laughs> So I think maybe this year he'll be more like, he'll recognize things around the house because obviously last year, you know, he's two months old by the time I decorated for fall and Halloween. So he's just like, I don't barely know who you are, let alone what's going on. So this is the, excuse me. This is the last mug I got. It says, oh my gourd, how funny. That is so cute. What really got me was this color. It's the same on the inside. I just love this green, like I said with those pumpkins earlier, like this is what's going to be, I think, trendy this year, is the green. I mean, I know it, it was kind of popular last year too, but I just think it's going to be on the rise. Okay, three, few more things. Um, so this was more recent, like the last, this is from Home Goods. this was $7.99, it's a little black cat with the pumpkin on the collar and the buffalo check like scarf. I thought it was so cute. My girlfriend and I we were at home goods together and she got one too. And I just thought this is easy to set on the shelf. It doesn't have words on it. It's not like super heavy. If my son picks it up and drops it on the floor, it's not gonna break. Win 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 right there. Yeah, 799. Totally cute. I'm gonna try not to call everything cute. Um this also is on the same trip. I love Hocus Pocus. I'm not like a hardcore and like diehard fan like some people but I do it's definitely like my one of my top favorite Halloween movies so, so it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus this is very versatile I feel like you could use this in the kitchen and living room or a bedroom whatever $7.99 I feel like you could also tuck the I mean tuck this back these won't bother me and set them on a shelf set it on a shelf if you wanted to you don't have to hang it up but the orange is glitter which I thought was fun Okay, so I got some dish towels. So the first one's more Halloween. This is storehouse seasonal. This is from I 
There's no tag. Was it free? Yes. Okay, this is from Home Goods, I think. I'm not sure where the tag's at. I think it'd be on here, and it's not. Interesting. Okay, but it says, you know, October 31st, and then it has just the orange, and then the orange and white. This is my, I love this. This is also, I would say, my aesthetic, which I thought about getting pillow covers I saw on Amazon for my couches. But I can't decide. I'll keep you updated. But I think these were probably $7.99 because that's how much these were. But this will be fun to change out and put on my ladder. How cute! So this says Grateful Hearts Gather Here. It's kind of like I mean, you can see it compared to the orange, orange. This is more of a burnt orange. I almost would call this a red. Um, but I liked the detail with the um, and the stripes. Um, also $7.99. So this came with also three. That kind of checkered. I don't know, four. Yeah, this is four. The big squares and then the lines. This color, I think, just got me. And then this back one, which is white. The stripes. So these are the ones you really have to keep away from other people in your house, aka my husband, because he'll destroy them with very rare occasion he makes something or cooks. He grabs the nicest dish towel that looks like this, all clean and pretty and white, and destroys it. Um so that's it from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Um I'll do my one thing from Kirkland's. I just I love Kirkland's and I think they have a really good selection and I bought in some stuff like I think I might go through my fall stuff and share what I have with you guys before I decorate. <clears throat> I'm gonna say this and then not actually do it lol. But um, this year there just wasn't too much I felt like I needed and I found a lot of stuff other places so this was $16.99 and then they had a 20% off coupon or like sale on one full item I think it was so this is thankful so my thought was I have some um candle holders from Ikea to put them in there and then some green or it's just like a I don't know what I would call this a little box mm. for my dining room table I feel like this is big enough candles pumpkins leaves and I normally do a table runner I don't do a whole like tablescape because I don't know, I guess I could, I just haven't done it. Maybe when my son's older. First thing is, this, these were $9.99, these are little coasters. I don't actually know if I'll use them as coasters. Okay, let's see if I can. They say give thanks. I guess I can undo them, but then they won't be able to do so neat. Anyways, you don't have to use them as coasters. What my other thought was, that, you know, this one of these that comes with four would be great on a tear tray. Or, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't use them as coasters. I think they all say good things. You know, I didn't check. I think they do. That would be funny if they didn't. They don't. It's, one of them says hope, one says blessed, one says gather, one says give things. So you could totally use like two or three of these on a tier tray as a whole like theme. But I thought the detail of the flowers, like it was on, like, on these, matched really well. I'm not coordinated. Cute. Okay, last but not least, 26 minutes in. The glass pumpkin. This is so cute. It's very heavy, definitely glass. $10, I thought that was a steal. $10, it has a lid. I haven't opened it, obviously. But you know, some cute, like, festive, either candy or kitty corn cookies I know like Oreo I, I don't ever buy Oreos but Oreos that have the festive like orange filling is that a thing um would be cute in here there's lots of things you can do with this you can just fill it with pumpkins and set it on a shelf I'm gonna put it on my kitchen counter where my clumsy family members can't get it <laughs> or destructive family members I should say but I thought this was really good for ten dollars like how fun um okay I think that's it oh I have a rug just kidding. Um, so this was the last thing. I was like, I know I got something else from at home and I couldn't remember. And this was sitting on the floor in my dining room and I even looked at it like five times when I walked by it. But you know, this is Hey There Pumpkin. It's 
So this, I was like, I have to, I have to find something plain, but I want it to be festive, like with a pumpkin or something, and that has maybe some words. And that was so hard to find. I think at home is the only place that had something like this. Twelve ninety nine. Did I say that? I thought it was cute. And this will go perfect on top of the underlay, the black and white underlay right here that I showed you that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I almost forgot. Let me do these soaps for you that I got from Bath and Body Works. So it was, they were $3.25. And then I didn't have a coupon, but I know that they've been out. Sorry. So I bought 14 and it was $50. Not terrible. So um, I bought, I'll show, I'll go ahead and show you the non four, um, four of them that aren't fall related. I guess this one could be the Black Cherry Merlot. This is kind of a staple. You can use it all year round. You can make it a holiday scent if you want, but I love the purple that it always comes in. This is kind of a lighter purple that it, that it, what I'm used to, but very good scent. You could buy it in almost everything, lotion, hand soap, candle, and it smells good. The French Lavender, this is kind of a basic that I feel like everyone likes. These are just ones that are easy to put in your bathroom, so when you have people come over, they don't have to smell like pumpkin, <laughs> you know? And then I got two of the Rose Water and Ivy. These are my favorite. These are more spring to me. Um, and I always, always, always buy at least one candle in that Rose Water and Ivy because it's just so neutral, I think, and it helps that it's pink. Okay, so for fall, we'll start with this one. Um, this is kind of all year slash fall, the crisp morning air. I think it smells good. Fresh pine, juniper, and juicy pear. Yummy. Um, sweater weather. I'm not going to read all these off to you guys because you guys probably know what these smell like. Two of these. This is probably my favorite. Oh, it's leaves burning back there. I was like, I think that's what even I have burning. Sweater weather. I didn't even get any. Do they sell leaves? Nope. Now I'm confused. I didn't get any. If they do, that's okay. Um, I got two of the Harvest to Gather. Harvest Gathering. I think this is new. This is White Barn. Maybe this isn't new. This smells familiar. The packaging must be different. Um, I get, normally always get foam. I feel like it's less messy. Like it cleans up better. Because with the regular, I got one regular, the gel, and so in the perfect autumn two of the white pumpkin this is probably one of my favorites besides the sweater weather and the leaves for fall this is like just so fresh and it's not like overwhelming with i don't know how to explain it. it's just not overwhelming i don't think i got two of the sweet cinnamon pumpkins so thank you guys for watching um my like fall haul halloween haul um i would like to do more of these i think it would be fun to show you guys my other decor i have and show you guys how i decorate and i mean you guys can only see right here my house i'm in my living room right now but um i think it'd be fun uh feel free to subscribe if you think you'll like to see more videos from me if not i'll post and maybe i'll pop up somewhere since you watched this one but i appreciate it and i will see you guys later thanks bye